Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to share you how to create this geometrical shape in Illustrator. All right, first step, make sure that you're on a stroke. I'm going to decrease the stroke thickness right here. I'm going to go with 0.25. I'm going to select the circle right here, the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. From here, press and hold alt, drag it down, press and hold shift and make sure you intersect them there. Okay, select both of them, right click group and go here to the rotate tool, rotate tool, okay. Now double click on it and make sure to type in 60 degrees, click on copy and press control D so it creates a new copy. Select them all, right click group, I gotta drag this here, I gotta create a new copy, press and hold alt and drag it to the right, okay. Press and hold shift and rotate it once and twice so it's gonna be horizontal instead of vertical okay we're gonna create some triangles inside of this so I'm gonna select the pen tool I'm gonna uh, sorry the pen tool I'm gonna start from here intersect it here here and then go back so we got the first triangle I gotta do the same thing with this bottom one there you go we got the two triangles I'm gonna press and hold shift select both of these there you go, press and hold shift, put it here right where they intersect perfectly there. And I'm going to zoom in, press and hold shift plus alt and scale it up until they intersect here with the anchor points. I don't need this anymore. The more difficult part comes here. So I'm going to go back with the pan tool, select the pan tool and start from here. I'm going to click here to this anchor point. I'm going to go here where they intersect. I'm going to go down here. I'm gonna go from here to here. So I need to go basically in these intersection points where these curvatures are. And I'm gonna go here and from here to here. It's a little bit complicated right now, but unless until you get used to it, it's gonna get more simple and it's gonna finish here. So check this out. I zoom out, I can press and hold Alt. I'm gonna create a new copy of this one. So basically it's gonna look something like this. Okay, from here we're gonna need another copy of this because we just made it on this triangle, okay? So we're gonna need to copy this to the other triangle which is upside down. So, let's get this one, press and hold Alt, drag it up, press and hold Shift also so you isolate it perfectly there. And now press and hold Shift and rotate it upside down. Zoom in, also press and hold Shift and select this upper triangle and make sure to click on this vertical align top. So now we got the perfect grid system for this uh, geometrical shape. I'm gonna select them all, right click, group them. And I'm gonna increase the stroke thickness from 0 0.25 to 3. So I can highlight, you know, what I wanted to, you know, show you. So I'm gonna start from here. From this intersection point, I'm gonna create the outline first. I'm gonna go some like this. Now we made the outline, from here I'm gonna go and connect this one with this one. Okay, I'm gonna select this and go here to the rotation, I mean select the rotate tool, press and hold alt and click here in the center. There you go, I'm gonna go with 60, let's try it out. Click on copy, control D until you go round and round. Now we, got, we don't need three of the shapes. We're gonna delete this, this, and this one. Press delete. And now I'm gonna select the pen tool and connect uh, here the center point with this. And connect this one with this one. And there you go. This is how we achieve this complicated shape in Illustrator. It's really fun to do it. Uh, there's a lot of m methods, you know, how you can create different shapes. Uh, so yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye